So if you want to work around with multiple image layouts, then Canva provides you with a very easy way. So for that, you have to go into elements right over here. And in elements, the section that you're going to go into are grids. So you can see that there's grid options. So there's one single image right here. As you go on and click on see all, you'll be able to see different grid layout options. So this is where you can manage multiple images according to what you want. So you can go around and select the grid layout that you want. Let's say, for example, I want to work around with this grid layout. So that comes up over here, as you can see right here. So what we can do after that is that we can also resize out the grid, as you can see, according to what you want and then resize horizontally or vertically, just like that, as you can see right over here. So once you're happy with the type of grid layout, so you can move around. So once you're happy with the grid, what you can do is you can go into photos and you can just drag in the images. So I want this photo. I want to drag this in. Just click and drag it onto the spot where you want the photo to be. Drag it in and the photo is there, just like that. I want to drag in this one. Click and drag it over here. There you go. That's it. I can also bring in my photos which I uploaded. For example, I have this photo of an apple, so I can simply click and drag it over here. And there you go. The photo has been arranged out in a grid, just like that. So it's just like that, what you can do is you can arrange out photo in a grid. And what you have is like, as you double click, you can move this photos around as you can see. So you can move this down or up to see just the portion of the picture. You can also go over here if you are to resize it. Uh, and if it goes beyond uh, the crop area, then it'll just stay up just like that. I can resize the grid again and the photos all will be just there as you can see. So I can move it around, keep it here in the side and all of the pictures as you can see are arranged out quite well just like that so you can select any of the grid right here and bring them that grid and do the same for this one as well but you do have to take note of the grid you want to use before you choose the photos itself just like that because later on it's not possible to change this out so just like that you can arrange out grid so that's one of the options that you can work with quite easily so another thing that we may want to work with is uh, the shape crop option for images as well. So let me just add in a new page over here and let us go back over here onto the elements. So we're going to learn more about elements later on, but over here you can see that there's frames as well. So these are all the three frames. I can go over here and let's say I want this frame right here. Let's just click it and there you go. There's a frame uh, for the image. So it seems like uh, it seems like uh, the monitor is displaying something. So just like this, I can go on to photos. I can click and drag it out and there you go. Now the picture is in that monitor. So that's very, very easy as you can see. So you can also go for shape crops, other sort of shape crops are uh, gonna go into elements. So let's say we have a shape crop like this, as you can see. So if I want a picture in there, uh, just go over here and then drag in the picture over there. And there you go. There's the shape crop picture, just like that. And just like in the photo frame, you can double click and then change out the position right over there and the pictures will be changed out. So that is how you can uh, work around with multiple image layouts and shape crop options inside of Canva. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.